What's going on everybody? It's your boy, it's your boy. First thing first, welcome to the channel. Um, greetings from my second time on ROM. Second time being in quarantine on this island since I got here. Long story, we're not going to talk about it. However, today's video um, is a very special video because it's something that I was meaning to do in the past, but I never got around to it. And that's pretty much explain my paycheck, right? Obviously, yes, everyone in my rank get paid the same across the board in terms of basic pay. However, um, it, it differs from everyone's paycheck, depending on if they're married or not, depending on if they get COLA, etc. So I'm going to break down exactly how much I get paid in this video. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here I am. Sorry for having Notepad. I don't have Microsoft Word because it's too expensive. So here are my entitlements. Now we're going to go over my entitlements first. This is pretty much all the money that you would get paid while being in the Marine Corps. So first we're going to head over and um, check out my basic pay. So this is the basic pay that I am paid for being in the Marine Corps for being a sergeant with six years or more time in service. All right. Just know that you, you get paid um, by your rank and you also get paid by how long you've been in the Marine Corps. Now, that is three thousand ninety four dollars and fifty cent, um, which is taxable for, you know, um, you have your federal tax, you have your state tax and FICA. To be honest, I don't know what this is. We're going to find out next. We have my BAS. Um, monthly, this is pretty much the money the Marine Corps pays me for not having a meal card, right? It's pretty much money that the Marine Corps pays me for food and every any other thing that I'm not, me and my family may need. That stands for a basic allowance for subsistence. A lot of people, honestly, I honestly didn't know what this stands for. I had to look it up. Next is my COLA with dependents. So COLA stands for cost of living allowance. Now, I had somebody ask me this earlier. Um this morning in the comments, why do we get paid cost of living allowance when the US dollar is actually worth more than the Japanese yen, which is actually true. However, that's not necessarily the case um, for how expensive things are out here on this island. You guys have to remember, we are on an island. Everything out here has to get exported to this island or imported to this island. So it's the, obviously, you know, the stores and everything are going to charge you a lot more money for certain things like you know, electronics, you may pay for uh, more money for electronics. Trash bags are very expensive out here. You know, just things of that nature. Restaurants are kind of expensive out here. So the Marine Corps pays you this much money per month um, to kind of offset the, 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 the cost of how expensive it is out here versus what we get paid. Next is my OHA with dependents. Now, OHA is different from BAH. You get a lot of questions on what's the difference. Since I am living overseas, I get paid overseas housing allowance. It's totally different from BAH. BAH you're given in the United States, right? Uh, pretty much you get to keep the difference of whatever you don't spend for your BAH. Out here is totally different. Out here, they will give you strictly the money of how much your rent is, um, as well as your allocated uh, money that they will give you per month for uh, bills. For instance, you know, you have your light bill, you have your water bill, your gas bill, your, your your trash bill. You have all those bills that I pay every month. So all of that ties in until this $2,256 right here per month. And that leaves us with a total of $6,353.63 per month that I am being paid. But the good old Marine Corps and good old Uncle Sam deductions. Here we are, deductions. We're going to talk about deductions a little bit. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So first we have our federal taxes. Federal taxes are going to come out your paycheck every two weeks or every month. Just live with it, all right? So $219 is coming out from there. Then next we have our Medicare coming out at 44 We have my state taxes. Now this is different, all right? Depending on what state you, play, uh, you come from, you may end up paying more for state tax. To be honest, I'm not sure how much California pays for state tax, but I know it may be a lot more than what I'm paying in Georgia. And obviously, yeah, a lot of people ask, well, well, sorry, a lot of people may ask, well, hey, on next show, you haven't lived in Georgia in over six years, which is true. But until I actually, you know, uh, uh, become a homeowner or something like that in the state of California, wherever I'm at, I'm still going to be paying taxes for the state of Georgia. Next, we have our SGLI. SGLI is pretty much the $400,000 that your family, whoever you may, you know, if something were to happen to you, like, you know, in combat or something like that, they will get reimbursed this money for you. 
Um, so $24 a month coming out of there. Spouse SGLI, pretty much like the same thing. Um, TS SGLI, honestly don't know what this is. OHA Advancement, this is only coming out of my paycheck because I got an advance uh, when I first moved out here. I have the money, but I didn't necessarily want to pay the, um, I believe, $3,000 or something like that um, to move into my house. Um, I had to pay the realtor, so I was like, screw that. I'm going to use that money for furniture and everything else and just get an OHA advance. And they're taking $18 out of my paycheck uh, until that until that's paid off. Um, next, we have the U.S. Yeah, United States Navy and Marine Corps retirement home. They're taking $0.50 cents out. With a total of $441.94 in deductions that are coming out of my paycheck every month. Now, my regular payments. This is how much that's hitting my bank account. So this money down here, this is the beauty. This is the total money of how much money I get paid. Um, that's actually going to land into my hands every month. This is from the month of December, $5,911.69. Now, coming from a Marine sergeant, you know, a lot of people complain about the pay in the Marine Corps, and I get it because some people just don't get paid enough or the fact that some people just can't work their finances to where they are comfortable. But, you know, if you if you ask me, you know, almost $6,000 a month, you know, you, I, then obviously I have to take out my rent from there because I actually have to pay rent. Um, I have to pay all of my utilities bills plus all of my other bills that I had. You know, I'm 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 still comfortable with that. You know, I am not in a hard place by any. If anything, I'm fairly comfortable with how much I get paid. You know, I made a video. I'm going to link it in the description, and I'm also is going to play out on the end of this video on finances in the Marine Corps. I made a video about that. You know, so you guys definitely make sure you go check out that video if you guys want more advice in terms of finances. But this is how much I get paid in the Marine Corps. AO Nixo gets paid $5,911 a month. Now, obviously, anyone can look up how much I may get paid. But like I said, again, different things uh, vary. You know, if for, for Marines who speak a certain language, um, they may get paid more money than I do because they get paid extra money for speaking a language or for Marines. Um, get paid hazard pay um, because they are, I don't know, they, they work on helicopters and they fly around in helicopters. I think they get paid extra money for that. So it varies. You know, our base pay is pretty much always going to stay the same for our rank and time and grade, but everything else, you know, your entitlements can be absolutely different. But this is how much I get paid. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hit the like button, subscribe for more videos, more content in the future. Um, let's get this video up to a thousand likes. A thousand likes. A thousand likes and what we're gonna do if this video gets to a thousand likes is I'm gonna host I'm gonna hold a um, Giveaway to where I'm gonna give away some of my merchandise. You guys see me wearing here I'm gonna give away my merchandise. So let's say probably three or four lucky people for absolutely free I'm gonna send it to you guys. You guys don't have to pay shipping anything. I'm gonna send it to you um, Just help this channel grow help this channel reach a goal of 15,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your support and um, You guys take it easy. Peace